Trying to make him use a dodge. There we go, use the dodge. Then you just playing your second ability. And then yeah, it just starts it starts getting too much. You can't really do anything. Right. The unlimited infernal energy build. So I pretty much spent a bunch of skill points into infernal energy sets. Honestly, this is a bit overkill. She has plenty of infernal energy already, but thought this would be kind of fun. So the first thing we have infernal revenue. Every every time you pick up a infernal orb, you gain an extra 30% infernal energy. Wicked fast increases the respawn speed of the infernal orbs by 35%. Because sometimes you know you can go around and collect infernal energy and then they just and then that's it they're gone for quite a while and you'll start doing nothing this can be pretty nice the puppeteer also has this immunosuppressant as extra blight infections which means you will get more fun energy from blight booster a passive so that's very good Lingering symptoms is another great thing increasing it to 15 seconds which applies the blight booster for even longer so it's almost like you're constantly on the objective if you apply the blight well energizing demon dash just yeah more infernal energy <laughs> Rare capacity for evil. She already has 350 infernal energy base kit, so an extra 20% is great. Tenacious demon dash, so reducing the cooldown of the dash, which means more infernal energy, plus combined with the energizing demonic dash. Quick charge demonic dash, just to make it easier to hit those charges. And then I started running out points. Portal authority basic, just one. <laughs> then I added combat fatigue, because I think this is a very good ability. You should always run this ability if you can. Grave illness. Can be nice, but and it does go well with lingering symptoms and immunosuppressant, but it's not super necessary. And eff efficient evil boss, because I feel like she will still be our main source of damage. Both the basic elites are okay, but generally the boss is where all the damage really comes from. And that is it. Let's get into the game. We're in a game. Usual. Trying to find survivors first. Since the fear's not going up, they're not down here. So they're probably up castle or on the left side. Since the fear is not going up at all, it's more likely on the castle. That's usually what I find. They are the dark ones. Pretty far away from the objectives, which is kind of nice. And there are units here, so they might not be here. No, they're not here because there are units here. So we're going to go Infernal Energy because it's all about that unlimited energy build. Then go one into Portal of the, both Elites and um, Basics. And then mostly focus Infernal Energy. So we know where the map piece is because I've kind of predicted right where they would be. Could stay around and trap more, but we're all about pressure. I feel like this demon plays a lot more like Puppeteer than Necromancer and um, what do you call it? Warlord. Want to constantly harass and get really good early advantage. So they're all together. Do they have a hunter actually down? That's lovely. I don't have to worry about any thing. So we're gonna go one portal. Gonna throw them slightly farther portal so they close the distance while I collect maximum infernal energy. Be as efficient as I can. Here we are. So he's decided to run. Lunge. Seems to have run out of stamina. And that was fun. <laughs> Where did he go? Okay, that's fine. We're gonna apply blight on these two. Great. We're gonna unpossess. We're gonna throw the units far away again. Let them fail as you come back up. May as well use the point. May as well use my tenacious demonic dash. Dodge backwards for some reason. That means you shouldn't have any stamina, which means we can throw this combo really hard. Okay, he dashed again. Take note, he is a warrior. Okay, he's used his armor. I'm gonna unpossess. I'm gonna possess him for the extra points. Being pretty cruel. Better off getting closer. He does no damage. He's not worth using at all. Okay, we got a lot of infernal energy already. I'm gonna go one possession as well because it will help with um I don't need a place to portal. Okay, he has activated his ability, which is annoying. 
Okay, they're grouping up. That will do two points to the blight. Someone's separated. The King Arthur's separated, which is a bit of a surprise considering what I've done to him. Dodge. Just need to stick on him. I missed my, uh, I'm not gonna let you pick it up easily. Can we use my two? You want to use these uh, second ability as much as you can. Now we're we're kind of out of infernal energy, so it's a bit hard to um, do much damage now. So we're just gonna possess. But he will come back, so. Because of our extra infernal energy we get from dashing, we've got quite a bit there. Yeah, these survivors really like separating. Now, if they grouped up, I would be harassing them a lot easier, to be honest. But at the same time, I can kill them by themselves now. He's not timing his dodges properly, which is why I am going to kill him really quickly. He's not careful. That's unfortunate. Just going to collect some final energy. Should have unpossessed earlier, to be honest, because I didn't, uh, because I don't gain final energy if I'm not unpossessed. Okay, got more sorry, units. Is he a dodger? He's not really a dodger. I'm gonna possess. We're going around pretty quick. Infernal energy. If I can hit both of them, that'd be great. Hey, okay, they managed to get me quite quickly there. To be fair, we have no damage, we have no um balance bar protection or health protection. We're just really infernally efficient. More units. But we could use the boss. You having fun there, Henry? <laughs> okay, use this thing. Now he's used this thing. I think I'd rather go for Henry now. I go with damage sign and stack up. Go finish him off. Or not. You know we'll finish him off. I missed for some reason. He's pretty dead. Unless I mess up. I messed up. <laughs> throw a potion on him. Did he dodge that potion? No. Just scream at him one more time. Damn, I thought I'd hit more of them. Okay, let's get boss and possession now. So those are my that's my main source of damage. I don't want the cooldown on my boss. Our army, no. 
He's gonna shoot me with a pistol I don't want to get. Messed up like that. But I can shoot this guy with a pistol now. I'd rather not fight him. Damn. I missed so much of my energy doing that. So it definitely takes a lot longer, but you will slow them down so much with this build. I wouldn't really recommend it though, seriously. Okay, he didn't kill him. You should be dead. There we go. Now, do what now? I think we'll just kill King Arthur. At least try to. I mean, that King Arthur did leave his team behind. Uh, I like going portal boss because the AI of the elites, no, I mean, the yeah, elites, are pretty good. Don't want to possess him, but that's fine as well. Running. Gonna run out of stamina at some point. Oh, wow. Actually, he actually duked me. Trying to make him use a dodge. There we go, he used a dodge. Then you just spam your second ability. And then, yeah, it just starts. It starts getting too much. You can't really do anything against it. Once you get to level 20, these basics are too strong. unpossess and jump him so I can carry it on I don't think that will even save him I'm gonna unpossess again I'll throw this in next to the thing next to the dead body turn the boss now finish him off that's it. And yeah, things just go downhill really quickly. Now I just need to find the uh, other guy. Found him. It was quite high. I didn't really need to do that. Super killer. Like, even if they grouped up, it would be really easy to... I can still go about that. It'd be really easy just to apply blight and then constantly harass. Anyway, so I don't even know what's better, grouping up or splitting up against this demon. I'm dead. And that is it. Hope you enjoyed.